Refined sugar is possibly the single most destructive substance in our diets today. It is uh, completely devoid of any nutrients and it has absolutely no vitamins and minerals to offer our body. Uh, in, in the refining process, sugar has completely been uh, stripped of all of these nutrients in the chemical process that it goes through. So unfortunately, there are lots of natural forms of sugar, but when we're looking at a refined sugar, which is pure and white in color, then unfortunately we're looking at a substance in our food industry which has absolutely no benefit to our body whatsoever. Um, it is very high in calories, so a high intake can lead to cardio cardiovascular disease and obesity. It can lead to diabetes, and it is something we absolutely want to avoid in our diet if possible. So let's go through some of the facts that we know about sugar. Unfortunately, there's a big problem that we have with a high intake of sugar, and that is obesity. Uh, taking in a high amount of sugar into our diet can cause obesity. It is broken down. Sugar is actually a molecule uh, that's called sucrose. And if you remember back to lecture one, sucrose is a disaccharide made up of glucose and fructose. So when you ingest refined sugar into your, into your body, it gets broken down into glucose and fructose. Now, an excess amount of these two molecules, the simple carbohydrates, glucose and fructose, if our body doesn't need them for energy any longer, if we've got enough of those simple sugars to give us the energy that we need, then we convert it into a stored form of, of carbohydrate called a glycogen. A glycogen molecule is stored in the liver where if we do go and need extra, if our body does need extra energy, then the liver can quickly convert it into glucose and put it into our blood system. But when our stores in our liver become full, then what happens to this excess of glycogen? Well, it gets converted into fat stores. And so actually eating uh, high amounts of sugar can actually land up being converted into fat cells and then that's how the obesity situation happens. <laughs>